Hi, um, I'm wearing a crazy outfit and I'm going to do my makeup. This is going to be a double feature. This is the second take I had to do. The first one was fucked up because I was, I just spent a lot of time looking for my, um, my eyeliner sharpener because the eyeliner sharpener for my main eyeliner pencil broke and then the tip of the pencil also broke so now I have to use a different pencil and I can't find a good sharpener so that's the whole thing but I've got this other pencil that I'm gonna use so I'll just hope this works okay it's just a whole thing man it's a whole thing um this is gonna be a crazy little glitter punk look today um I'm still living the glitter punk life you know I'm still contributing to that lifestyle um, this would be maybe a, a bit easier if I didn't have a hat on, but then again, no, it wouldn't. I'm doing fine. Um, it might just be obscuring your view a bit, but that's why I pulled it back so you could see me better. I've got acnes. You see them? The pimples? Yes. They are on my face. I do not care. I think it is okay. I am not bothered by these things. Yeah, I know. I'm so brave. I'm so brave, man. It's crazy. It's crazy how brave I am. Wow. <sighs> Some people, you know, they like fight wars and stuff. And other people, they have acne. <laughs> and both can be called brave. But I mean, that's okay. I'm not even, like, arguing against it. I just think it's a little funny. But I ain't arguing against it because, like, it, it's okay, you know? <laughs> like, it's not a big fucking deal, is it? No, it's not. It's not. been listening to Inside by Bo Burnham a lot uh, recently. It's really getting me into the the feelings, the strange ones, you know, the unusual feelings. The ones where you're like, oh, haha, -ha, but also, um, boo-hoo. Like, at the same time, you know what I mean? That's what it's like to listen to that, sh that album. If I could sum it up, it would be, haha, boo-hoo. Or alternatively, boo hoo ha ha. And that's my review of Inside by Bo Burnham. So yeah, give it a listen. It's incredible. Um, very good. The only thing like it's probably like a nine out of ten album for me. I would give it a I would give it a ten out of ten if it was actually like in a style that I liked. Um, you know, like rock and roll. Um, it's just pop, uh, with a lot of electronic stuff, but it's still good, you know. It's really good. Uh, well, I don't know if you could categorize it as pop. I mean, it's not like fun pop, is it? But I mean, it's like, it goes with like the mainstream sound, kind of. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I don't know. It, it's not like too, it's not like what I listen to, okay? It's modern, it's normal, it doesn't have guitars, really. You know, it's got some keyboards and shit. I guess you could say it's kind of 80s. You know, it's a bit 80s, you could say. But, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of 80s with all its synthesizers and all that, but, yeah, I don't know. Just depends on how you look at it. Because, I mean, we're having a lot of nostalgia for the 80s now, you know? The 80s and the 90s. Like, that's kind of happening. I mean, but actually, I think the nostalgia for the 80s has already passed. Like, I think that was mainly going on, like, in the My mom said she's making a big mess of cabbage. Um. <sighs> um. I forgot what I was talking about. Right, the album. Um. So, oh, and the, the things like. Okay, so I feel like the 2010s were more into the 80s 
But then once we got into the the 2020s, it was like, whoa, now all of a sudden the 80s are too old, now we're into the 90s. I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know. I'm just... I like the 60s and the 70s and a little bit of the 80s. So, yeah. But really, I really like the 60s, man. I really fuck with the 60s. The 70s are cool, too, because that's when early punk was, like, ha happening, you know. That's when there were the Ramones and the Sex Pistols and, uh, stuff like that, you know. But, um, um, yeah. See, I just use my spit, and I just use my hand. I am not fancy like you other peoples. I am not like the other girls, no. I am not even a girl. Can you believe it? Can you? Yeah. Anyway. Some of, some of you genuinely can't, you know, the haters in the audience. Whether you stay silent or speak up, you, um, you know, you're, I still do feel your presence at all times. And in fact, even if there are no haters in the audience, there are always those lingering phantom haters that you never come across, but that nevertheless, they linger in the subconscious and in the conscious and in everything, always in my dreams and my nightmares and you know, such like, it's just all this craziness, it's just all this madness. Prism was really good yesterday. Um, there was a lot of uh, friendliness going on. We met a lot of new people. The vibe of the place was like kind of uh, it was like very joyous, but in a sort of timid way. Um, I f I think in hindsight, it, the vibe was kind of the way it would be if like a bunch of people came together who had a hard life but were ready for a good time, you know, a good time that's like very social and healthy and all that, you know? I think that was why the atmosphere was the way it was. So, yeah, it was it was interesting. I know you people are probably laughing at me and thinking, oh, uh, you're so gross the way that you just use your spit and wipe with your hand and all that. And to that I say, squeak. Yeah, I say squeak. Um, squeak, 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 uh, squeaky, squeaky. Yeah. This is the future libs want. Yeah. Can't let them win. <laughs> Can't let the libs win. This is the future libs want. 
a future where people dress like this and squeak strangely whenever they are criticized. <laughs> What just happened? No, oh, nothing happened. Okay. So you gotta always check your clothes to make sure that nothing's going on that's weird. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. I I got this. Uh, this is uh, some lip gloss. It's got real four, 24 karat gold in it. I found it on the ground at school. My face is still a bit grubby with makeup. I gotta wipe that off. Sorry. Okay, yeah, this has a uh, real 24 karat gold, um, yeah, yeah, it's like, I read the ingredients, it actually does indeed contain gold, and I also found this mascara on the ground at school. Yeah, I'll be using both, I don't really care if I die, um, of, like, the germs that are on these, um, not really worried about that, you know, yeah, uh, something you might think it's especially disgusting that I'm using a lip gloss because that's a mouth thing and mouths do have bacteria and they spread and all that um and to that I say squeak so there you go meow meow yes I both squeak and meow I'm the cat and the mouse at the same time isn't that crazy isn't that mad it's like a kind of Alice in Wonderland kind of vibe. I'm, I do look like the Cheshire Cat a bit today, like with my stripes, you know, and my cat ears. I'm like, it's kind of like a thing, you know, we're all mad here. Yeah, that's like a quote that the Cheshire Cat said, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think he did say that. I've seen the film several times, and I, uh, I think that quote is like something that he said, the Cheshire Cat. Okay, I'm done dancing now. I'm done dancing. Um, uh, I gotta apply the, uh, the glitter to my eyes. So the way that we're gonna do this is, we're going to, like, get some of this, like, um... lip gloss and we're gonna put it on the eyeball and it's already got some sparkle to it and then we're gonna add more glitter I said eyeball but it's actually the eyelid so you see how I lie to you yeah you see everything's fake man show business you know it's just like this we lie to you My eye feels quite sticky now, but it is okay. Totally not bothered by that. Totally not. I am. Secretly, I find it slightly annoying. Secretly, I find it slightly annoying. It's alright, maybe it'll dry up. Um, wait, no. Wait, no, we gotta mix the pink and the blue. I would like pink and blue glitter for my eyes. Yes. And green too. Fuck it. Green too. We'll get pink and blue and green. All three of my glitters. Mixy, 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 mixy. Mixy, 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 mixy. Mixing it up in my hand. Mixy, 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 mixy. Okay, it's quite mixed. Now we add it, we apply it to the eye. My mom blew her nose. It sounds like a fart. Pay no mind. If you didn't hear it, then good. And if you did, that's also fine. I do not care.
Can you believe it? I exist. I find it hard to believe at times that I'm a, I'm a real person. It's strange. Like, how did? Where did I come from? Where did I go? Where did I come from, Cotton Eye Joe? You know what I mean? It's like that. It's strange. I think we should like kind of um uh where's that lip gloss? There it is. Kind of put a bit um particularly in this little spot here because there needs to be a bit more in that area. But I think there's a hair in there. Get that out. See, makeup hacks are putting lip gloss on your eyes. <laughs> Because, like, you can just be creative like that, you know? That's just creativity. It's just magic, you know? Oh, my computer went dark. Don't go dark, computer. Bravo 6 going dark. Right? That's good. Very dramatic. I like it. Now we're going to put some lip gloss on the other eye. I'm going to just kind of wipe off some of this glitter and stuff. Yeah, now we'll put some lip gloss on the other eye. Um, The lip gloss makes a pop sound, it just goes like that. Sometimes the boys make a sound similar to that at school. It is meant to replicate the sound of someone um, sucking a dick, and like, you know, they, they, they pull the dick out of their mouth, or they just, they, they they raise their head or whatever, and they go like, and that's the sound of the dick coming out of the the sucky mouth, you know. That's that's what the boys do at school. Um, yeah, I find it interesting. Um, in those moments, you know, I feel different from the males. It's an interesting gender experience, you know. But also, I feel I feel the same, but different. Because it's like, they're out there calling each other gay for doing that. And like, acting as if it's a bad thing, unironically. Um, whereas I would, um, I would approach that conversation differently, right? I wouldn't be, like, seriously calling someone gay for doing that. You know what I mean? Like a male. Like, I, I wouldn't do that. It's just interesting, you know? I feel different from them, but that's a, that's a thing, but I feel the same at the same time because I find it humorous, you know? It's not really like a, ew, that's so gross kind of thing. And even girls could find it funny, too, you know? It's not as if I think that girls are, like, squeamish, necessarily, you know? Anyone could enjoy that stupid humor, but it is quite stupid at the same time, and we can all agree on that, you know? It's, it's, it's all okay, we can say these things, you know? We can have these conversations. It's quite, we're, we're intellectualizing this. <laughs> we're intellectualizing the sucking of dicks and the, the children replicating the sounds of it happening. I call them children, but they're my age. They're my age. They're like 17 and 18 year olds, but you know what I mean? It's like, they are acting like children, so it kind of like makes me call them that, you know? And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with being childlike. You know? It's okay. I 
I'm off my meds today due to some circumstances. Um, I guess I could tell you. Um, I stole drugs from my mother, and uh, in retaliation, she is stealing drugs from me. Um, both of us could go to jail for doing this. So, yeah. Um, there's a lot of drug stealing going on in the house. I've been off my meds today and yesterday, but tomorrow I will get them again because the agreement is that I can't have them on weekends for the next few weeks or whatever. But I, I will, I'm allowed to have them on weekdays, so, yeah. Even though I'll actually be out of school for the next week because, um, uh, spring break, you know. It's, yeah. But it's like, I do need to catch up on schoolwork, so it is necessary for me to have this ADHD med, you know, because I need focus for schoolwork and all that, you know. That's a thing. That's a thing, you know. I say that a lot, you know, but everyone does that. That's normal. I really overdid it with the the glitter. It's like it's like a mask. It's like I'm a wreck. Like it's insane. I I went like into my cheeks and stuff. Like this is wild. This is this is outlandish. But I mean, I don't know, man. This is drag, really. Yeah, this is this is just glitter punk, razzle dazzle madness. It's okay for it to be this way. This is this is what the libs want, and um, I'm not a lib, I'm not a liberal, but <laughs> you know it's it. That's not what that's not that doesn't matter. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean. And if you don't, I'll tell you. It's it's just I'm, because some people don't get me. Like when I make references that are like rem like when I talk about th when I make fun of things that right wingers say sometimes left wingers they don't get that I'm doing it a joke like they just they're kind of in an echo chamber and stuff and they don't even know how bad it is on the other side so I have to like explain to people, like, okay, I'm not a liberal when I say, like, I'm doing what the libs want and all that, like, they, the, the right-wingers would call me a lib because they don't even understand leftist politics and stuff like that, you know what I mean? It's, it's just a whole thing, it's the whole thing. Some people, they live in a bit of an echo chamber, and that's, that's, I mean, it's safe in there, you know, like, it's kind of depressing to hear people talk about, like, you know, your existence being, like, a just, dis just destructive force on society when all you're doing is, like, wearing clothes that you're not supposed to wear for whatever fucking reason, or, um, using, using, like, words to describe yourself that that uh, you're not allowed to use for whatever fucking reason. I'm, we're talking about trans stuff here, if you can't tell. So, yeah. It's trans stuff. But, um, it also has to do with race, of course. Race is a thing. Um, there's racism too, guys. And we're gonna, I mean, I've, I've this, uh, the clothes that I'm wearing is, uh, there's a lot of Black Lives Matter stuff going on here and, uh, stuff. <laughs> Is this good enough? I guess so. Well, of course, now we have to apply the eyelashes. Um, but first I have to get this, all this glitter off of my hands. There's so much glitter on my hands. Like, we're just going crazy today. We're not worrying about, like, is it too much or anything like that. We're not, we're not worrying about that, you know? We're just doing... This is drag. We're doing drag. It's okay. We're doing drag. I'm gonna, um get some coffee in my mouth and in my tummy and all that. It's
it's 25 minutes in. This will be a long video, so I don't know what kind of numbers it's going to get. I hope it gets good numbers, because long videos, I, um, I like to, hmm, I like it, I like it when, like, well, when my efforts and the time that I spend on this, um, results in, like, a, a you know, a good, a good response from the people, you know, in the way of engagement, you know, liking the video, commenting on the video, or just views, just high views, I love high views, yeah, I like it, if this is gross, I apologize, but if it's funny, good, um, I want to be entertaining and stuff you should really listen to inside by Bo Burnham like what are you doing like after this video you should listen to inside by Bo Burnham the the whole album like come on Well, well, look who's inside again. Who found a new reason to hide again? I think that's the lyrics. I'm just trying to remember the lyrics to that. I'm not, I don't want to spoil anything, but it's just really beautiful. It's a beautiful album, really. Like, it's it's a beautiful experience to listen to it, okay? I'm sorry for that, all that weight. I had to get some stuff. I had to get eyelashes and eyelash glue. What colors shall we do today? Oh, there's so many options. I think I'm going to do um, bright pink on one eye and bright yellow on the other eye. Um, yeah, I think that'll be really cool. Well, well, look who's inside again. Look who found a new reason to hide again. I think that's the lyrics, but I, I can't quite remember. Oh, wait, we were gonna just do mascara. So, maybe not eyelashes then? I, I don't... Okay! I don't want any right now! Um... My mom said there's cabbage. That's what she was saying to me. Um, I don't know. Like, let's do the mascara first and see how that goes. And then after we do that, we'll decide whether or not we want to do lashes. Like, fake false lashes and all that. Because this might be, like, really good. But I don't have, like, naturally super long eyelashes. Like, some people... They just have crazy long eyelashes. I'm not one of those people, you know. But my eyelashes are decently sized. You know, they're 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 good. I've got good eyelashes, but I'm not blessed with like insanely magical ones. I'm gonna use the mascara to kind of like put some dark stuff around my eyes, like yeah probably gonna look better on camera than it would like in real life but 
yeah, like this, what I'm doing now, <laughs> with the mascara, probably looks better on camera than it would in real life. The, the camera, it, it's, it does flatter the face, even if it, they say that the camera makes you gain 10 pounds or whatever, that's true, but it also does flatter the face. I guess it depends on the type of camera though, doesn't it? This black stuff, get this out of here. <laughs> I think I just licked a bit of the glitter off of my hand. That wasn't what I was trying to do. I was trying to get my hand wet so that I could get the glitter off easier. But in the process, yeah, I got some glitter in my mouth. Ugh. This is madness. Utter madness, I say. I would be a terrible drag queen, you know, because I can't do anything fast and I can't do anything well. But that's alright, you know. It's practice, that's all. I'm gonna spit. I just spit to get the, the glitter out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, this will be a long video, you know. We've got a... F we got to maintain this shit, we got to make sure this shit doesn't... I mean, we're going crazy, aren't we? We did too much. We just did too much, is what we did. You know what? I'm gonna... T what? Okay. Ugh. Mom, she's just existent. My mother, my mother, so very existent, relentlessly, relentlessly, <laughs> relentlessly, all right, um, I'm gonna get a wet wipe from the bathroom, I will be right back, because I want to, I want to tone this down a bit, okay? I hope you weren't like annoyed that I did that. Um this is the last wet wipe of the whole box. Yeah. Last wet wipe and I'm using it for this purpose. Does is that good? Is that bad? I don't know, and I don't care. I'm just doing what I have to do. It's all I've ever done. All I've ever done is just doing what I have to do. You gotta do what you gotta do. That's reality, that's life. Bo Burnham, what a guy. I've also been watching a lot, oh, today, I've been, I've been watching FD Signifier, and I've been watching, um, this other black leftist, um, I gotta go to my YouTube channel to remember, let me just do that real quick. Like, I mentioned the, um, his race because it's like, you know, I'm pretty sure the video, like, brings up race and stuff like that. Um, my name he just heard a little snippet of my intro, didn't you? Yeah, there's FD Signifier. I, I guess I've just been watching FD Signifier. No, I watched someone else before that. Who was it? All right, I'm gonna go into my history, and then we'll, then we'll know. Cause I wanna, I want you guys to be introduced to these people, you know. Um, that's this isn't a waste of time. I'm actually trying to like teach you. Maybe it was FD signifier the whole time, wasn't it? Yeah, I guess it was. 
Huh. <laughs> okay. I I I had I f <laughs> Okay, but there's also there's other good like black leftist creators out there like T1J and um um Let's see. There's Lil Bill. Lil Bill like that's what he calls himself, you know. It's kind of like the character from, you know, the cartoon, but like that's his name. Like I don't know. His name's Lil Bill. Um he's a he's one of them. But you know, I'm I'm introducing y'all cuz like to these black um leftist creators because you know, I want to lift up that kind of thing and you know, those voices and stuff. I want that to be heard. Um it's important to like hear what people have to say and stuff. It really is. <laughs> Sorry if this is boring. I don't want it to be boring for you. Just gonna add a little bit more glitter just to make sure it's like perfect and everything. But I'm not gonna like make this the area bigger or anything like that, cause it's it's good enough like as it is. It's called glitter punk for a reason, you know. All right, yes. And we're gonna do lips and stuff. You know, I'm gonna get that lip gloss and I'm gonna put it. It's gonna be a whole thing, man. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a whole thing, like a whole like it's gonna be magic. It's gonna be utter magic. We're we're really doing stuff, you know, right now.
Oh, they're quite different. Huh. Gotta fix that, I guess. Because I want them to be nice and symmetrical, I don't want to mess this up. Yeah, Inside by Bo Burnham. <laughs> I'm still talking about it. It's got some really catchy songs. Like, they're, they're sad, they're funny, and they're catchy. All at the same time. You know? It is catchy stuff. Even if it's not my typical genre. Rock and roll, you know? It's still good shit, man. Good shit. I gotta add more glitter because I kind of, you know, it's, this is a it's a process, okay? Because there's this empty space here, and I want to fix that. So, yeah, it's yeah. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. <laughs> That's a saying. That's a saying. Make it make sense. It's just so sassy. Do they look symmetrical? I don't know. I can't tell if they look symmetrical or not. No, they do not look symmetrical. I'm trying to make them symmetrical. Maybe they just don't need to be so fucking big. Like, I could just kind of do that. Yeah, this is how we can do it. This is how we do it. Pick your nose and chew it. My dad came up with that, I'm pretty sure. But maybe not. I don't know. But he does say that. Or he did when I was a kid, and I thought it was really funny. Yeah, this video is going to be over an hour long. It, it's okay. I'm not bothered, you know. It might be like a feature-length film of just me doing my makeup and stuff. Who knows, man? Showing off my outfit. I mean, you can fast-forward through the boring parts and all that. It's okay. I mean... Honestly, it's all okay, you know? So yeah, I think we've done it now, it's good. So I'm gonna put on my lashes because I did the mascara and it's not dramatic enough, so we need, we need drama, okay? We need madness, so yeah. I said I was going to do one pink one and one yellow one, so that's that's what we're going with. Bo Burnham seems mentally ill. It's because he is. <laughs> it's alright though, man, you know, I know what that's like, it's okay. I mean, it's not, like, good, you know, sad, and frustrating, and hard, and terrible, but 
you know, it's like, it's, it's like, he's okay, though, I mean, but he, like, you know, but it's okay to not be okay at the same time, you know what I mean, you know what I mean? Like, that's all I'm trying to say, man, it's like, you know, I'm not trying to, like, make anyone sad, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to make everyone happy and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah, okay. Yeah. You just never know when I'll strike, it's, I'm so unpredictable, I'm so crazy. There's always drama in the background of life, but in the foreground, there's little palm trees and puppy dogs. If you're lucky. Sometimes there's razor blades and chains and car crashes and mayhem and madness and handcuffs. You never know, you never know, you never know, you never know. You never know. You can never be too sure. I'll get better at this over time, you know. But like for now I'm 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 not very good at this. For fuck's sake, just just stay on the lid. Just just stay on the lid. What what are you doing? It's because they're sticking to my fingers, that's what it is, because my fingers get sticky from the glue and then they stick to my fingers when they should be sticking to the lid. Stick to the lid, damn it. And not like that. Like, in a good way. No, in a good way, I said. Must I strangle you? Okay, we're getting close now, we're getting close. We're gonna just adjust. Um... Perhaps it's just like that now. I've kind of glued it all up. It's sticky and all that now, and I've kind of fucked it up a bit. Oh, the lashes are all fucked up now. They're just... They're just crazy with the glue. I, I put too much glue, that's what it was. But it's alright, it's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting looking. Yeah, see, the thing is, the reason why I, I listened to Inside, um, I, I, I listened to it yesterday, because I was depressed, and it was just the perfect thing, it really hit the spot, um, I, I mean, I didn't want anything that was too happy, but nothing too sad, and it was just the perfect thing, because it's funny, and it's crazy, and I fucked up my makeup, and I'm sad, but... <sighs> Life is insane, dude. We're gonna be here for fucking ever at this rate, but, you know, we're, we're all in this together. Mm. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. When you get what you want, but not what you need. Damn it, okay. What the fuck? This is just becoming a very destructive force, okay? Like, I'm fucked now. I'm very fucked up, and I, I've got so much work to do now. Fucking eyelash. I, I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, you know? You, you just, you don't even try, do you, eyelash? Everything's ruined now because of you. Okay, I think that's how it's gonna be. It's all glued up and everything, but that's fine, whatever. 
um, maybe we'll make the other one like that, so, yeah. If I've ruined my eyelashes forever, maybe so, but at the end of the day, we'll, you know, we will all be but dust in the end, you know, of life and all that. We, we will die, yeah. But death is coming. Death is here. Who's that knocking on your window? It's death. I gotta redo the glitter on my eye. Yep. Are you entertained? Is this entertaining? Could it possibly be entertaining for you? I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Are you not entertained? Yeah, the thing, um, that movie. I saw that movie. The guy, with the mo the one where the guy says, are you not entertained? That one that's like, it takes place in like Greece and stuff. I wonder what Bo Burnham's doing right now. I'm gonna say he's taking a shit. Yes. And or a piss. Yeah. But you never know. Is Bo Burnham married? I don't really know. Does he have a wife? Who knows? I really wish I hadn't fucked up my eyelash the way I did. But oh well. Now where's that yellow one that I picked out? Where did it go? I picked it out and now where did it go? Where did I put it? Oh there it is. Uh, it's, it's, it's okay guys. It's right here. Yeah, we'll just work the glue into the lashes and make them glue up in the same way so that it matches. Because cause that's the answer to the problem, right? That's what we should do. Yes. This uh, eyelash glue kind of smells funny. It smells very chemically. It smells very much like chemicals. I bet it's got all these ingredients, not one of them in the Bible. You know, all these ingredients with these big words, words that aren't in the Bible. So I shan't, I shan't support such nonsense. You know, I will only, only ever interact with things that are in the Bible. <laughs>
Just, just fucking stay on there, please. Right, there we go, I think it's good now. Yeah? No, it's not. All right, now we've got to fix up the damage done to this side. <laughs> How fun. Yeah, it's already, we're about an hour in now. You can just fast forward through the boring parts, that's fine. I'm not bothered. Just doesn't want to be good, I guess. But then who does? I don't. I don't want to be good. I want to be evil. I want to be evil. I want to be mad. But more than that, I want to be bad. And in the theater, I will deliberately change my seat. Just so I can step on everybody's feet. Yeah, listen to my cover of I Wanna Be Evil by Eartha Kitt. I s sing it real good in that in that video, I think. It's, it's fun, and it's good. I want to go to the devil, I want to be evil, I want to be mad, but more than that, I want to be bad. I want to wake up in the morning with that dark brown taste, I want to see some dissipation in my face. Like, you can see the vision, right? You can see what I'm trying to do. But, there's just so many obstacles, you know? Beauty is pain and all that. So much pain. I wish I had some champagne. So that I could be all fancy and drunk. Fancily drunk and drunkenly fancy, you know what I mean? That would be good. I would feel good then. I could settle for just some fucking Walgreens wine, you know? <laughs> Oddly specific. Oddly specific. It's almost as if I've got a relationship with that specific thing. Walgreens wine. Why Walgreens in particular? Hmm, I wonder. Anyway.
Straight line, yes. Oh, oh. Flashes are still okay. Yes, yes. Straight line right down like that. Just want to look like a skull, I guess. Yeah, it's a bit like that, isn't it? The way that it looks, it kind of does define the eyes in a way where it makes them look uh, it's a bit skeletal, you know, in in its nature and all that. Yeah, I mean, it's like difficult to get them perfectly symmetrical, you know. That's a struggle I have. The struggle is real. I guess I did good enough. They, you know, they call glitter, they call it the herpes of, um, the herpes of arts and crafts, because it just gets everywhere. You know, it just spreads and it's nasty and all that. And they also call pigeons the rats of the sky. Flying rats, you know. Rats with wings. Um. Well, my name is Sid Pigeon. I'm Sid Pigeon of the Sweatshop Boys. And, um. You know, I, uh. I love glitter. So. Yeah. That's who I am. The glitter punk, you know. Here we go, now it's starting to look kind of good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nope. Come on, be good. Way down in Louisiana, close to New Orleans. Way back up in the good, way back up in the woods among the evergreens. The live in the country boy. Uh, wait, the live the country boy named Johnny be good. Never ever learned to read or write so well, but he could play guitar just like a ring in a bell. Go, 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 Johnny, go, 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 Johnny, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go. Johnny, be good. Yeah, it's one of them songs. Um, someone's messaging me. I gotta tell them I'm making a video. It's a gal. She's she's named Cron. That's not a real name, but that's her um. That's her, uh, that's her screen name. It's her online name, Cron. I have friends. Isn't it nice? Isn't it nice? Uh. 
my eyelashes are perpetually slightly fucked up. Maybe if we just pray to God that this works. Ow. Something is in my eye and it is committing a little bit of arson upon me because it, my eye is burning, but it's not too bad. I can I can deal with it. Maybe it would be better if I did some eyeliner right there, because I think that maybe that's the problem, isn't it? Maybe that's what it is. I'm just so stupid, I didn't figure it out. Where's my little cap? Where's the cap for this? Where's the cap for this? Oh, there, wait, no, yes, oh, really, where is it? It's just this little white cap, oh, there it is, good, good, good. I'm, I'm telling you what it looks like as if you can, like, help me find it, isn't that funny? My hands are just covered in stickiness and glitter. It's disgusting. See, this is giving it more glitter just on its own, this, this, um, lip gloss, you know, because it's got that, it's got them flakes of gold in it, so it's contributing, but it's also an adhesive for the other glitter. It's Kesha's world, and we're just living in it, you know? Kesha made the universe. She is God, you know? Listen to TikTok by Kesha after watching this video, and feel the vibes. Feel them. It's just not wanting to obey my commands. I don't know what to make of this. Such a disobedient little eyelash. Okay, now we, um, yeah, 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 lip gloss. This is just, it's just a perpetual cycle of fucking with this and then fucking with that, like, see, when you're on stimulant drugs, this is kind of what it feels like, this is like a stimulant drug simulation right here. I'm not even on the stimulant drugs, the simu stimulant medication that I take for ADHD, but, um, I'm just tweaking off of, like, having ADHD and also, um, having a lot of coffee. And it's, it's just, it's real complicated, really. I mean, the chemicals involved in all this stuff, it's, it's wild, man. You know, it's all just quite wild. Um, so, 
this is what it's like, you know, you just, you really, it's just a lot of fucking with this and that, really. Just getting really hyper-focused on one thing and just making sure that it's perfect and being all weird about it. Being very perfectionist about it. My drag is shit. My drag is absolutely positively fucking shit. I'm oh I am the lowest of the lowest. I'm the lowest of the lowest. Oh oh I've been singing a lot lately. Been into that. I like get rid of my uh, my wet wipe because I'm not seeing where it is, and that's scaring me, that's scaring me. Uh. Wet wipe, where did you go? Did I? Oh yes, come back, please. Need you. Okay, like oh my god. After this, I promise, I promise we will do the lips, but. Yeah, like, this is a very careful process. Okay. Hm. Well... Okay, a little bit more of this wiping, wiping. Make sure there's not any glitter in spaces where there shouldn't be glitter. Wipe, 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 wipe. Keep glitter out of women's spaces! <laughs> See, if you don't understand that, why that's funny, it's like, um, it's like TERFs, how TERFs say, like, keep men out of women's spaces, you know, like, saying that about trans women, because TERFs, you know, they think that trans women aren't real women, and stuff like that. They also think that trans men aren't real men, and, uh, stuff. They're very transphobic and nasty. Trans-exclusionary radical feminist. That's what TERF stands for. It's nasty and terrible, and I don't, I don't endorse it. But if you're on my channel, you probably already know what a TERF is, because, you know, look at me, I mean... I attract the type of uh, person who would know what a turf is. I'm now getting a, um, I'm getting lip gloss, or, yeah, lip gloss, lipstick, that sort of thing. S lip products. Right, but I should, um, I've got all this madness around me, um, I should do this really quick. Let's darken that up a little bit.
Don't get up this area. Then I'll apply a bit of this as well, and we can just darken that shit up. Yeah. I think that one of the craziest and most um, poignant, I don't know if I know what the word poignant means, but I think it's appropriate in this case. Sometimes I just have uh, sort of instincts about certain words that I might be using. But let me look up what poignant means before I proceed. Because I'm so silly like that. Poignant. Evoking a keen sense of sadness or regret. Interesting. So that's what poignant means. Yeah, so I guess I guess I am using it right. The most poignant moment well, just one of many in listening to Inside by Bo Burnham, it was, um, when, this, just this one little line where he says, like, um, uh, a gift shop at the gun show, a mass shooting at the mall. There it is again, that funny feeling, that funny feeling. It's like, he sings that about, you know, that's the chorus to that song, and it's like, um, a gift shop at the gun show, a mass shooting at the mall. Uh, wait, I can't really sing it right. A gift shop at the gun show, a mass shooting at the mall. There it is. A gift shop, gun show. A gift shop at the gun show, a mass shooting, a mass shooting at the mall. I can't do it right, my voice isn't right for that. I don't know. There it is again. <clears throat> there it is again, that funny feeling, that funny feeling. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, it's good stuff though. Now I'm going to talk to someone directly. Poppy. Poppy, my father. My father, Poppy. If you're watching this, and you probably are because you watch my channel, go watch, uh, go listen to Inside by Bo Burnham. It's emotional, but like, it's cool. Like, because it's emotional, dude. It's artistically emotional. You're going to like it, dude. It's sad, it's good, it's funny, it's like political, and like, but it's from the perspective of a straight, white, cisgender man, and you're that, and yet you are interested in being, you know, one of the good ones, so I feel as though you would understand it. <laughs> um, it talks about being a straight cishet man and stuff like that like it it's it, it touches on that so you know it's for you poppy it's for you but it's also for other people it's like it's kind of uh it's good for a lot of groups you know i would say but um yeah it could work for you poppy you ought to check out Inside by Bo Burnham. What are you what are you waiting for, you know? But don't don't click away from this video though. Yeah, this is actually literally like gonna be movie length. What the fuck? Insane. So yeah, now we're gonna do 
Let's let's do some blush. Let's do some blush, but let's do that thing that people do where they use the lipstick to do blush because we're crazy like that. I might have put on like way too much and I'm gonna look like a clown, but this is drag. Remember, we're doing drag, so it's okay. It's drag makeup, guys. It's like drag glitter punk makeup. But, like, if you're in a headspace that's really, really not good, um, like, super not good, then don't wa don't listen to Inside, because you might hurt yourself doing that. Um, you have to be, like, kind of ready for it. Ugh. Man. Just put more glitter in my, my mouth. <laughs> eh. This didn't work. Whatever. Looking red. Looking red. Quite blushy. It's like a lot, you know. It's all right. I think maybe my favorite song off of Inside by Bob Burnham is Shit, the one that's called Shit. Um, I think that that one, it speaks to me, you know? It just, it does. It touches into my very soul. Um, yeah. So listen to it. Yes. But also listen to music by Kesha. Yeah. I'm wearing a hat because I haven't bathed in two weeks. <laughs> I've washed my hair in one week, but like, I just... I don't care to explain that, how that works. Like, okay, maybe I do care to explain it. So like, you know, you just, um, you simply hang your head over the tub, right? And you just start splishing and splashing and such. I mean, you know, when it comes down to it, babe, when it comes down to it, we're just fucking around, aren't we? And that's all we ever do, you know. We just fuck around and find out, and that's life. That's my life, anyway. All we ever do is fuck around and find out. Uh, that we're doing it absolutely wrong. We're doing it absolutely wrong. We've got blush on the jawline. That's not how that's supposed to work. I've just got like loose glitter all over my face, which is okay. It's okay. I'm not bothered. I think my face is just, like, my jawline is now just turning red because I'm, like, rubbing it up against it. You know, you know, like, okay, white people in the audience, you know how, like, when you scratch your skin, like, when it gets itchy and then you scratch it, it gets a little bit red? The thing about it is, I went to, like, mostly black schools and lived in a mostly black environment as a child and all that, and still do to this day. Like, if you don't know, Mobile is 50% black, 50% white, roughly speaking. Like, obviously there are other races in there, so it's, like, not literally 50% white, 50% black, but, like, if you look at the populations, it's, like, almost, you could say, it resembles, like, that. 
sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. Um, anyway. So, my skin, like, when I scratch it, you know, it gets a little red, and that's normal. Like, when your skin is irritated as a white person, you know, it gets a little bit red. The thing about it is, black people, you know, friends of mine, or just kids at school at all, you know, they would see my skin get a little red, and they'd be like, is that a rash? Like, are you, are you, do you have, like, a rash? And it's like, it's not a rash. It's just kind of the, the way that, white skin responds to irritation, but they had me convinced that, like, I actually had a rash, you know? Like, I think this conversation happened, like, multiple times because I remember it, you know? I remember this happening. Um, they would get so concerned, and, like, yeah, like, it was crazy, man. Just, and it wasn't their fault, and it wasn't my fault. Like, we just didn't know, you know? Like, they had me convinced that my skin was doing something weird and stuff, and, like, it's just, they didn't know, because they have dark, you know, black people have dark skin. They Their skin doesn't visibly get reddish unless, like, they're, you know, light-skinned. Like, a light-skinned, a light-skinned black person. Like, very light-skinned to where you can still see when it, when blood vessels kind of, like, because what reddening is, is, like, blood vessels getting bigger, like, kind of dilating, I guess. And so, therefore, like, um, I'm gonna wipe a bit of this off so that it's not as, like, dramatic. Um, yeah, because this is just the process. Um, yeah, okay. That's actually perfect. There we go. That's the blush. Well, actually, okay. Um. Um. I forgot what I was saying. I was just talking about blood vessels, like, dilating, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. This video is just crazy, man. It's just crazy that I, I... I mean, this is a ballsy move, you know, for me, to, for me to upload this. If you're still watching, thank you. I, I'm imagining my dad right now. I'm imagining him. He's listening to it. He's listening to this video as he's, like, walking into the kitchen to cook food or something. That's what I'm envisioning right now. Like... He could be, he could do that, like, just have it play in the background as he's cooking food. I could totally see my dad doing that very thing. And that's cool, that's okay, you know? I'm not bothered by that. You cook that food, Poppy. You cook it. It's your, it's your house, man. You do what you want. Yeah. Okay. Right, now the blush is done, okay. Now we're gonna do lips, finally. Like we said we were gonna do. This is too much blush. <laughs> it just, it looks like a lot. Is, is it the lighting? Maybe, let's get better lighting. It's not, like, crazy. Maybe it needs to be sparkly. Maybe that's what's wrong. Maybe it's like, it's just weird because it's not sparkly. Dude, I finally understand. <laughs> okay, um, this has been a journey. This is a journey. We're having, like, a connection right now, okay? I'm putting the lipstick on my, um, my cheeks so that the, 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 um, the glitter will stick on.
don't really know what I'm doing. Is that apparent? Is that readily apparent? <laughs> it's readily apparent. Like, when you finally see the outfit mixed with, like, with the makeup, because we haven't even gotten to the outfit yet, like, we're an hour and 32 minutes in, and you haven't even seen the outfit. That's the kind of content you get here. It's wild, dude. But it's worth it, you know? It's worth it, man. You know? This isn't a go girl give us nothing situation, you see. It's not. I'm giving you something. I am. But it's just taking a while. Gotta get more of that pink glitter. Come on, pink glitter. Do your thing. I hope you guys like the playlists on my channel. I put out these playlists that I enjoy. You know, music that I enjoy, I put them on the playlist. And I want you guys to listen to that. When I'm an influencer, I want my influence to be good. You know? I want to be a good influence. I, I influence you in the way of um, sharing my music. Yeah, that's too much blush, but we've got the idea down. Now we have to just wipe off the excess. See, it's a process. Sometimes when when you see this is just the thing. It might just be a bit of neurodivergent kind of stuff, you know? Just maybe. What what do I mean by that? Well, um neurodivergent people just have different processes of doing things. And they may not be the most practical from some people's perspectives, but it's okay, you know, because it's doesn't matter, you know. I'm trying to kind of do the blush the way that Nancy Spongin did her blush, you know. But I'm not actually looking in, at any pictures of Nancy Spongin. I'm just kind of doing it by memory. But I do remember it pretty well, I think. I'm telling you though, but I'm telling you, man. When I'm done with all this, I'm gonna be, I mean, I'm gonna be slaying, you know? Like, this is going to be an absolute slay, I tell you. This is just ridiculous, man. Why do we live this way, you know? Why? You can, like, put this on while you're sleeping if you want to, because there's no loud sound, so it's almost like ASMR, isn't it? It's just something to put on in the background. It's all... It's all just quite nice, you know. But you can, if you want to actually see stuff, you you can, I don't know, it's, I, I don't know, just watch it however you want to, as long as you're watching it, I'm happy. That's what I'm trying to say.
just, it never looks quite right. How do I make it look right? The, you know I have a vision. I have a vision, but it's difficult. It's quite difficult. Maybe that's all it is. We just have to scoot it back a bit. Yeah, I think that's what all it needed was a bit of scooting back. We just, just uh, a little bit more of that pink, just to make sure it's not too spotty like that. You know, we just yes. Okay, good. So good, good, maybe, kind of, yes. It's not quite even, just a mm. bit here. Still haven't gotten to the lips, have we? No, we have not. Someone should do like a research paper on me. I'm just so interesting. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so interesting. I'm so interesting. I'm really fascinating. I'm really fascinating. I'm really fucking fascinating. Fascinating. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, making fun of speech impediments. Great. You ever think about like how many Looney Tunes characters like they all all the Looney Tunes characters have speech impediments, you know? All of them. It's crazy. They all do. They all do. Dude, no, no, like, it still doesn't look right. This has to be good, like, okay, ugh. I'm having fun, you know, like, I'm not bothered, but I'm just, the only thing that I'm worried about is you. I'm worried if you're bothered and stuff. Like, this is a fat-ass video, man. This is gonna be, like, two hours, this is gonna be over two hours long, like, definitely.
Yeah. Okie dokie. That's good. Yeah. Is it, is it actually... Are we actually done now with the blush? Are we actually done? Like, are we actually done this time? Okay. We're, we're just gonna leave it like that? <laughs> Look at the way, like, my eyelashes are kind of like... Well, they're kind of like just holding on to my hat. Like, that's funny. Um, okay. I guess the blush is good. Blush is good. We'll just leave it like that. Okay. Now we're going to do the lips. I think I want to do them 1920s looking lips. Yeah. So. I don't know if they actually did their lips like this in the 1920s, but it's kind of the stereotypical look. So we're going to do that. I think you know what I'm talking about. Like, it's where you, you just, oh god. You, yeah. You'll, you'll see. No, no. I'm actually really overlining my lips, but, um, it's not really what I needed to do, but it's like, I'm not really bothered. I don't, I don't know. This is drag, so, you know, different rules apply. Yeah, I think we're getting it, like, accurate. Like, it's kind of accurate to the 1920s. If you look at the way, like, Clara Bow did her makeup, it's kind of like this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not this insane, but, yeah. Now we're gonna finish off the lip gloss with this, uh... We're gonna add this, um... This gold sparkly lip gloss, which has now kind of gotten a bit of my other glitter in it. And that's okay. I'm not bothered. Kind of fucked some shit up. Don't. Can't. Don't fuck shit up. Oh, you're fucking everything up. <sighs> the things, the way they just get so very fucked. Yeah, it's ballsy of me to put out this video, like, come on, I mean, who wants to watch, like, two hours of some idiot just putting on makeup and showing off their clothes, like, who wants that? 
I don't know. I say funny things sometimes. You know? There is that. Say what you will, but there is that. No, no, no. Don't do it like that. No. Oh, that looks good. Holy shit. Oh, no. You ruined a point. Um, uh, uh, I can do this. You're witnessing art, you know. I mean, you are, objectively. This is art, you know. Makeup is indeed art. Just can't do it right. Oh, he's almost there. looks really good. Now we'll keep doing that, uh, this stuff. Rome wasn't built in a day, you know. Yeah. Wasn't. We're building Rome right now. Isn't that fun? Western society. We're building it. Doesn't this just scream strong, white, Western society? Well, I am white, but... Do you think that that's what I'm about? Do you think that that's what I'm into? You think I'm a wasp? 
a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. No. I'm a white atheist, um, with a bit of Mexican in me, a bit of, bit of Cherokee in me. Um, um, I am poor. Uh, I, I am gay. <laughs> I could go on and on. I'm just gonna straight up. No, that would be crazy. I was. Well. I'm actually, not crazy about that. There we go. That's good. That fixed it. Okay, good, good, good. Um, I suppose the makeup is done now. You can hardly see the glitter in the lips. I want to apply more of this glittery lip gloss. Maybe I should just pour a bit of glitter in there to make it more glittery. Yeah, mad scientist approach, you know? Pour some glitter in there, there you go. Some blue glitter. It's getting in there, now we're gonna add some pink glitter. There you go. Lots of, oh gosh, put a lot of, just put more blue in there then. Yes, more blue. A lot of blue. And we're gonna put some green, where's the green one? There's the green one gonna be so pretty. See, Kesha died for our sins. Yes. Now we're gonna mix it all up with the wand. This is, uh, this is what Kesha wanted, you see. And Kesha's not actually dead, you know. Kind of like mix it up, mixy, 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 mixy. So far, it's looking mostly green. I don't know why. Did I put more green in there than anything else? I don't know. Damn it, I need it to be evenly distributed. Just like how I need uh, the wealth to be dis evenly distributed in um, uh, in society and all that, you know, in order to, like, make us truly free and all that, you know. Like, you know, politically and stuff. I I'm a communist. I'm an anarcho-communist. Yeah. Oh yeah, now it's getting good. Now it's getting good. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's like one hour, 58 minutes right now.
We're really approaching the, the two hour mark. My friend just asked me if I'm done with the video, and I was like, no, it's going to be hours long, and then I put, like, the the genuine um, tone indicator, because, yeah, like, it's hard to believe, but it's, I'm not being sarcastic, like, yeah. You're not truly a glitter punk until you can feel the crunch of glitter in your teeth because you accidentally got it in your mouth. In inside of it. Your mouth. I'm such a sellout the way I just produce content instead of talking to my friends. They should make a Hallmark movie about me. You know? I'm so busy prioritizing things when I could be spending time with my loved ones. It's, 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 you know, you could make a Hallmark movie out of me. My actions. Sure. You could do that. I've got shoe shoulder pad things, okay? I mean... <laughs> Madness, utter madness. Oh, my hands are so gross, dude. They're so gross. They're all covered in glitter. I also have to pee at this point, but we're not going to worry about that. No, we're not. I mean, this is just crackhead stuff, but that's not a funny thing to say, because crack is not funny, you know? So, forget that I said it. Um, oh my god, glitter in my nose, probably. Yeah. Probably in my nose, inside of the nostril. Okay. Um. Ugh. 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 Ugh.
getting things out of the way because now I get to show you my outfit. Okay. I'm just pulling down my shorts, like, because they get all hiked up and shit, you know, when I sit down. And, yeah, I've got to adjust a little. <laughs> I made a shirt, you know, I made, well, I made a a sweatshirt. Um, it says, um, it says, Impure Imp. And then right here it says, um, Police Shut Us Down. Police Shut Us Down. That is... Uh, a reference to TikTok by Kesha. That's uh, the, a, a lyric in the song. And then this thing says, I am pro Kesha. Because I'm pro Kesha. You know, I'm not anti Kesha. You know? And there's just all kinds of cool stuff on my, on my thing. You know? Just observe it. Look, I, uh,. See, I, I made this, like, communist-looking patch, and then there's this, um, pin that says, it says, pray for our country, and I just think that's so funny. I think it's really funny to put it right above the, the communist patch. It's like a joke. It's a joke, you know. I think it's hilarious. Like, yeah, you better pray for our country, because we're coming for you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Or maybe it's like, oh God, pray for our country because there's so much bullshit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's kind of provocative. It can be interpreted in many ways. You know? Oh, what's going on here? Why is it like that? Looks weird. I look weird now. Is it just the lighting? Like, oh, is it? Just the lighting. I think it is just the lighting. Lighting is just strange. You never know what's going on, really. Now, I know what you're thinking. Sid, you're not wearing any shoes. Well, I, that's just, you just wait, okay? One shoe on, one to go. Yes, both shoes are on now. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Um, this says, this says Black Lives Matter. Okay? It says Black Lives Matter. And it's got this thing that says, uh, it's got a pin that says, Test early for sickle cell. Because 
that's a that's a disease that predominantly affects black people, and it has black people in the pen. So I thought, you know, I'd put that on there because it's relevant, right? Like Black Lives Matter in like a medical context too. So like in addition to like, you know, like just police brutality stuff, like that's a thing that can kill black people, yes, and also sickle cell anemia, that can also kill black people. <laughs> like, it's not funny, but like, I don't know, my, I feel stupid right now, <laughs> like I feel like I'm being stupid, but like, do you get what I mean? Like, I'm just saying, like, that's my logic, that's why I have this on there. Is that stupid? Am I stupid? Do I have any black people in the audience? And if so, can you tell me whether or not I'm stupid? Because I want to hear your opinions, specifically. Um, you know? <laughs> My makeup is so crazy, so crazy. Yeah, the back, the back is a prism patch. Prism United, it says. Wait, my belt's going up. Sometimes it rides up, you know? You gotta push it back down. Cause it doesn't it doesn't go in the loops really because it's too wide. It's an army belt. It's an army belt, you see. For the army. Um, there's a Demi Boy thing here, and then there's a pin that says Paris. Um, just look at all this shit. I mean, we got the we got the trans flag, or no, 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 not the trans flag. I mean, it's the colors of the trans flag plus black, and uh, there's like the trans symbol with the peace sign in it, and then there's a little peace dove pin on top, like. Yeah, there you can see it. There's a piece of on the top of it. So, yeah. There's this non-binary symbol. And it's in the non-binary colors. Um, which are black, white, purple, and yellow. Okay? Got the upside-down triangle. That one's a little controversial because it has to do with the Holocaust, you see. Um, that was the, the symbol that was given to um, gay people and queer people and such. Uh, during the Holocaust times, Ewimsies, you know, when they, uh, when the Nazis, uh, got the people and put them in the concentration camps, well, they got some, some of the people they targeted were, like, uh, queer people, and they would give them these pink triangles, so, yeah, and that, yeah, they would put them on, they would have to wear them on their clothes, you know, and so that's a symbol now. And, like, it's a little controversial to wear it, I think, because, I don't know why, like, maybe some people think it's not okay because it kind of takes the conversation about the Holocaust, like, away from Jewish people, maybe? Like, I don't know, like, maybe that's the argument. And that's valid, but, um, at the same time, I think it should be acknowledged that, like, yeah, queer people were indeed targeted during the, you know, Holocaust. So, yeah. I mean, you're coming here and you're finding someone who doesn't give a damn. And if this video blows up, because I want it to, you know, I want this to be me. I want people to see this video and know what I'm about, you know. I'm mad. I don't care. I, listen, I will fight for you and I will look insane doing it. I will look unhinged. Oh yes. It's a maximalist kind of vibe today. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um 
two hours, 13 minutes in. Maybe we ought to just have a little chat at this point, or maybe I could end the video. Whoa, there's so many things I could do. See, I just, I get drunk off this power I have, you know. This power. Yes. Madness. Do you feel it? Do you feel the madness? It goes down my throat and I swallowed you. I eated you. I vored you, dude. I vored you. Okay, so kitties, little kitties at home, make a connection now in terms of like terms. In terms of terms, yes. Because you see, we're talking about terms. Um, vor, think about it. Vor, why is it called that? Well, think about it, right? There's carnivores, there's omnivores, there's herbivores. That's where it comes from. That's why it's called that. So if you never, like, realized that, if you never made that connection, now you have. See, you can learn things from me. I love words. I've got a real passion for them. Words, you know. I would like to drink my coffee, but it would mess up my makeup. <sighs> Guess I'll just wa I'll drink my coffee after the video's done. Just want a little bit more time for you to look at me. Look at me. Little, little piece thing. Uh, there's like holes in it, you know, on the underside of the sleeves and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there's still glitter in my mouth, like, inside of it. But you're not a glitter punk unless that happens to you. Like, that is just like, glitter punk uh, 101 kind of stuff. It's just, just so much little bits of glitter in my mouth. I'm, ugh, my eyelashes are just so weird. They're not like the way that they're supposed to be and stuff. But I mean, yeah, they're they're okay. I guess they're okay if you don't look too hard. Yeah, I'm gonna take a shower soon, don't worry. I know I just casually mentioned that I haven't showered in two weeks, but I'm gonna shower soon. Okay, shall this be the end of the video? Yes, yes it shall. Farewell.